I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw James Madison, the fourth president of the United States. I take three fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, keep going around and stop. I come back to my dot and I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, bring it in a little bit and connect. On the right hand side, I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect, and I'm going to come up to the left, right here about, and I'm going to mimic the line. Curve line in, curve line out, bring it down, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come on the right hand side, I mean the left hand side, and we're just going to draw a slightly curve line out, wavy line in, connect. Okay? Right here in the center, put a dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line in, and stop. On the left hand side, starting right about here, I'm going to draw a curve line up, down, jump over, we're going to draw another curve line up, down. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a curve line and then underneath a curve line down, up, connect. On the right hand side, curve line, curve line down, up, connect. Right here in the center, slightly curve line up, down, up, down, slightly curve line across. Okay. Starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, all the way up, connect. In the center, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, up, over, connect. On the right hand side, I draw a slightly curved line down, up, connect. On the right, come on the left slightly curve line down, up, connect. In the middle, slightly curved line, wavy line, curve line, up, connect. Okay. Now, on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line in, all the way down, off the page. Now I'm going to draw it again, curve line, out, off the page. Come on the left hand side, right about here, we're just going to draw a slightly curve line down, curve line out, off the page. Alright, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in his eyes. He had blue eyes. We're going to do those blue. And then I'm going to put a line of brown above his eyebrow and a line of brown below. Kind of thicken it up. Line above a brown. Line below a brown. And then he had that gray white hair. So we're just going to take a gray crayon if you have one and just give him some gray, leave the rest of it white. If you don't have gray, you can leave his hair white and that would be fine. Okay. Now, I'm going to color in his ear and his face. I've got peach. If you've got skin color, you can color this in. And this is just to kind of differentiate the way he looks so he's not so white because these are colonial times, they didn't have a lot of color going on. So if you have that, great. If you don't, you can use your brown real light to at least give them a little bit of color. Now, the rest of this is black. 
this space stays white that's that colonial collar they all wore and everything around the bow which is lace looks like lace that all stays white but this section is his suit and this is all black 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 okay this is also black like I said not a lot of color so since there isn't a lot of color on him I went ahead and added straight lines of red in the background okay all the way across okay let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here's my James Madison all colored in father of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights founding father of the United States of America fourth president and he was kind of a little guy he was only five feet four inches okay bye bye